Out of an exclusive investigation you'll see only on CBS News Colorado, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office is reviewing an improper use of force incident at the Jeffco Jail. Yeah, we want to warn you, the surveillance video we're about to show you can be disturbing to watch. Here you see deputies grabbing inmate Frederick Fisk legs out from under him, while his hands are cuffed behind his back, causing Fisk to slam into the ground face first. Our investigator Katie Weiss uncovering this exclusive for us tonight. So Katie, were those deputies disciplined? Yeah, well, Michael, um, actually, so far, the sergeant in charge has received a written reprimand, and the deputies involved are still on the job. They've only been given an additional four-hour training course as a result of this incident, but I'm told more could be coming, and that's because it's not just how they took the inmate down that's in question, but also how one of the deputies allegedly bragged about it afterward. This is surveillance video from the Jeffco Jail on November 20th last year. Deputies say 54-year-old inmate Frederick Fisk is having a mental health episode and needs to be escorted to a different unit. At one point, Fisk stops walking. Deputies try to convince him to keep going, but he doesn't budge. Two deputies grab each of his legs and he slams into the concrete ground. A pool of blood forms under his face. But in reports written later that day, one of the deputies says Fisk, quote, appeared to flail, causing him to fall onto the ground. Two other deputies say they were controlling Fisk's legs and felt his weight shift forward. Fisk fell to the floor. Do you think that this is an accurate depiction of what actually occurred? I think it's, it's an accurate representation, but it's not detailed enough. Uh, you really think it's an accurate representation? Accurate in terms of what the video showed, their hand positioning and things were, yes because that, that's, that's evidenced in the video. But in nowhere does this describe, I swept his legs out from underneath him. It doesn't because the intention was to lower him into a kneeling position and that was verbally stated and witnessed by other witnesses we interviewed. I also asked Commander Chris Felton, the man in charge of the investigation, about comments one of the deputies reportedly made after the takedown. One deputy was quoted as saying, that jujitsu really works. The ankle pick, the ankle picked worked. That was great. What would you say to that? Um, I, I personally, nor does this office condone that statement. We, w we don't justify that type of, of comment. In fact, that conduct is being addressed and there, there is discipline. Uh, I can't speak to what's going to happen because some things are still in process. So, however, I do not justify that comment. My office does not justify that comment. Commander Felton says the deputies involved were only on the job for about a year and received four hours of remedial training in March as discipline. We absolutely want to ensure that that does not happen again. Felton says his office has not contacted the district attorney, saying they determined the incident was not criminal. A crime would involve some sort of criminal culpability. And we start there. This was in application of a technique Within the scope of the law, it was objectively reasonable and appropriate. There was no malice. We absolutely did not intend to harm uh, Mr. Fisk. This was an unintentional, this was an accident. When you have comments like, that takedown was great, how, do, how can you be so sure that there wasn't any malicious intent here? Deputy interviews and the witness interviews in this described the facts that negated what those, those comments were. He says a use of force review board and the detentions division are looking at the investigation and will present recommendations for any further discipline actions if needed. No timeline, though, on when those decisions will be made. My message to Jefferson County is that this is an isolated incident, and we took an internal look ourselves and said, let's clean this up because we can do better. Now, Fisk is currently in a state prison for burglary and assault charges, but he is expected to be released next month. I spoke with Fisk's brother and his wife over the phone today. They say he's a good man who made a mistake, but he didn't deserve to be treated like that. His wife says Fisk broke his jaw and that he still struggles to eat to this day. Now, Michael and Karen uh, will, of course, be sure to let all of you know as soon as we know the results of that use of force review when that's complete. All right, more to come on this from Katie. Thank you.